Hello again, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support and in this video I'm going to answer some questions about how to create and save a default page size from Corel Draw. Uh, get a couple of questions from Corel about how do I save a page size if I default uh, say for instance if I'm defaulting something other than 8.5 by 11 maybe uh, you want to default uh, a legal size document. Every time you open Corel you don't have to make changes to the document size. If you could just default it so that every time you cre create or create a new document, open a new document, that it automatically goes to maybe a legal size document. Okay, so I just want to show you how to create a layout in Corel Draw so that you don't have to change it every time you open a document you don't have to make those changes so this way when you open the document the document is already created for you okay so if you're sublimating or printing to uh, 11 by 17 by default all the time then you wouldn't want to come in Corel and have to create a document size every time to be the same thing so let me step you through that real quick how to save a layout from Corel Draw alright so this is just a page I've opened up this is your standard default 8.5 by 11 so what I want to do here is to save a document size let's say we're gonna save it for A4 um, we're gonna create an A4 document size now here you have a drop down of all your all your already created document sizes okay but you could select it from here for an individual document for that document only but the next time you open it up you're still going to go back to your default page size so let me show you how to change that default page size okay so what we want to do is we want to go to layout and then we want to go to page setup and from here as you can see your default page size is already letter now to change that, what I can do is I can click this drop down. I can change it to a tabloid or whatever I want. If I jump down here, I can change it to an A4. Okay. I can use millimeters or I can use inches. I prefer inches. If I want to change my resolution, I can also do that here. If I want to scroll down and view any other changes in my document that I want I might want to make I can do that from over here at the left as well okay so all these things are things that you can change so that when you make a new document or open a new document everything is there for you page size is already created all this is done for you any other crit uh, things you want to critique you can do that from here as well okay this is your layout I'm gonna go back to page size and I want to save this so if I want to save my document size what I can do is click on save and now I can name it and I'm gonna name it um, uh, we will just name it A4 or you can actually some people like to name it after a product they're doing okay so if A4 is for a t-shirt uh, or a particular company or a client you can name it after that company or client but make sure you give it a name that's unique and reminds you of what that save setting is okay so you could save it as A4 and you could call it um, Condi Client so you know that this is a setting that you're always going to use for this client and that way if there's a particular uh, DPI or anything specific to that page that your client prefers then all those settings are there you don't have to spend five or ten minutes recreating that or trying to remember what that is okay so once you've saved it once you just click it click OK it's done drop down you'll see it in your save settings so it's always there and then click OK page size has changed everything's set up the way I want it and that's how you create a default page size in Corel Draw if you have any questions feel free to give me a call my name is Vicki I'm with Condi System and as always happy to help I hope this helps you as well thank you for your time